So we're gonna do a quick taste test. I got this set in the mail from Crave Jerky. I'm Amanda Dowsher, and in this episode, we are going to go over basically some work at home tips. I work from home Monday through Friday, and I thought I'd share some tips that's really helped me along the way. Hi everyone! So basically this is how my everyday goes. I am on my computer doing my full-time job from around like 7.30 to like 5.30, sometimes 6. My typical hours are 8 to 5 but I usually like to start early and I usually end a little late to get ahead of myself. Um, but yeah, like <laughs> in these vlogmas videos you'll notice that I'm just putting a lot of like random clips together to make one long video but this is literally what I do every single day Monday through Friday. So really my main exciting things will be happening um, on the weekend or after work but after work I then edit this vlogmas video till maybe like 6 or 7 8 p.m. and then my day is done so I hope you guys are having a good day I am getting re being really productive today I have a lot of weeklies to do um, basically at my PR agency we have weeklies where we send to clients a wrap-up of what happened that week so I'm going through all my little tasks on that. I have some big projects like some PowerPoints, some lists, some emails, and a lot of influencer securing for December. So that is what I'm up to. If you guys have any Vlogmas video ideas, please let me know because this is what I'm doing during my days. <laughs> so if you guys want to see anything different or have any fun suggestions i am happy to hear another fun work at home tip would be to treat yourself to something fun so for example i woke up at like 6 a.m this morning to go over to starbucks to get something to drink that sometimes motivates my week so for example i will do this on mondays typically it's actually thursday right now but <laughs> typically i would do this on mondays to start off my week on a really fun exciting note um this also gets me outside in the morning so i can breathe some fresh air i typically am inside the whole week um of course during these times but then in general i don't get out much especially since i'm working in the day so during the morning is kind of when i can like get a refresh and get to see the world and breathe in some nice fresh air here is a little fun tip i wanted to share with you guys so for me to focus i really like having some kind of white noise in the background and these are some of the playlists that i really like to play on youtube so first off is animal crossing as you'll notice a lot of them are video game inspired <laughs> music in the background does not bother me it's more so of inspiring me and getting me in a really happy mood so my first one is animal crossing i love this game i have been playing since it's been on the gamecube and then i played it on the wii and now i play it on the switch so definitely been a long time fan of Animal Crossing. Let me know if you guys like this game too. One of my favorite characters is definitely Rosie and Miss Bunny right here. Um, for my next playlist, I really love Pokemon as well. I've been playing on that since like the Game Boy and then the DS and then the GameCube and the Wii <laughs> and the Switch. So I've been playing this for years and loving watching the TV show as well. But I love this because it's just really nice and like relaxing in the background. My next one is Pikmin music. If you guys have ever played Pikmin, it is so much fun. You play like, so you are an astronaut and you go on this foreign land with these crazy like creatures and then you have these little aliens basically help you and they all have different powers. So like one has electricity, water or fire, and they have earth and little fairy ones. It's very fun. So I like this playlist for Pikmin and this one for Pikmin. This one's more of like a nature vibe like cuz you're wandering through the woods and stuff like that. So that's very relaxing. Another one is an overall Nintendo fall mix I really like to listen to. This one has a whole mix of different ones and it tells you what game it's from. So it has like Kirby, Zelda, Pokemon, and Mario, and a ton of things like that. But I really like this one. If you're not into video games and you like just listening to aesthetic music that you'd probably hear in like a coffee shop or honestly a lot of these songs I've hear in the background of YouTubers music um, in the background of their videos. So this one's really good and it's three hours. So another thing I love about this is that these are all about 30 minutes, an hour to three hours and I love listening to them because it helps me chunk my time of how long I work on certain projects. So for example, if I'm working on a deck and I give myself an hour, I will like listen to like the Pokemon one. So once that one is done, I should be done with my deck. And if not, I reevaluate myself and give myself some more time. 
Again, this just helps me break up the day, gives me a happy mood to work in, and I really love it. Let me know down below if you guys have any instrumental music that you really like. I would love to learn some more, and as you can tell, I love my video game ones, so let me know down below. Another tip for me, which I feel like a lot of people do, is to write it down. So I love journals in general, and then in general, I also just like writing things. I feel like it's easier to remember, and also you see everything laid out in front of you. So for example, this is the notebook I use. It's from Bando. I love their books, especially because it's a great size. It has a lot of space for me to write whatever I want. It also has like fun folders inside, and it always has something inspirational in there, and I'm a sucker for inspirational things. So within these, I also try to make them maybe color coded to make the day more fun. As you can see here, I made like blue and red. I love sparkly pens as well. So I will write in a normal pen and then cross everything out in a sparkly pen. <laughs> um, this one was like red and pink themed. I just have like a ton of notes that I write down for the day. This even, I will say this sometimes gets overwhelming because I will have a lot of tasks to do. But if you prioritize yourself to where you get like your big chunks done and then your little chunks done, then it's really great. Like for example, some of the big chunks in my day would be like for decks, for um, outreach to influencers, to making lists for influencers, recommending, and also just like a ton of different admin work I have to do as well. So of course I can waste an hour getting stuck in my email but of course I wouldn't want to do that because that wastes a lot of my day that I could have already been doing my big chunks like a big deck or something so this basically helps it out and for me since I love to color code it really helps me so that also is very helpful <laughs> Hello everyone, I am taking a little midday break. It's around like 3 p.m. right now, so I thought I'd take like a 10 minute breather for myself. My head and my eyes are getting really tired right now. I have been deep in some researching for some cat influencers. But anyways, I got an exciting package in the mail from Crave Jerky. I don't know if you guys have ever had their jerky before, but it's absolutely delicious. It's a great snack. They're always super flavorful. And I got sent this package. So we're gonna do a quick taste test. I got this sent in the mail from Crave Jerky. If you guys don't know, Crave is known for their beef jerky and it's absolutely delicious. It's so flavorful and like my favorite ever. And they just came out with plant-based. So here are the two plant-based flavors. They have smoked chipotle and Korean barbecue. Here's the little insert card that came with the box. It's basically saying our meat just got a makeover. So as you know, as I previously said, they are mainly known for meat jerky, but now they made plant-based jerky, which is really great and a great alternative. So with this Crave plant-based jerky, I'm super excited to share with you guys my thoughts. A little background about myself. I'm not vegetarian or vegan, but I do like to eat plant-based very, very often. I mainly because I really like the taste of it and it's just a fun alternative. And of course, it's helping saving the animals. But I will say I am a meat eater too, but having plant-based options are always really great. So first off, just looking at the packaging, I think it's absolutely beautiful. As you can tell, there's a cute little leaf on it. It has some fun little copy. The colors are really nice and bright, and it also gives you all the information about the plant-based jerky right off the bat. Like for example, there's eight grams of protein. There is a good source of protein. Um, it's vegan and it's made from peas and fava beans, which is really interesting. So first up is our chipotle flavor. This is what it looks like up close in the bag. I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna do a sniff test first. Ooh. It definitely smells like chipotle flavored, I will say. It's quite bold. You can tell there's a bit of a spice kick, but I feel like it's not gonna be anything I can't handle. <laughs> okay, so here is what it looks like up close. Oh. Okay, so when touching this, I will say it's much thicker than I thought it would be. Um, it's made from beans and peas. So that is definitely interesting. When you're pulling it apart, as you can see right here, I feel like it has a pretty nice texture that re resembles like beef or real meat jerky because with meat jerky, when you pull it apart, it has little stringy parts as well. This also is very, very thick, which is really great because that's what typically jer jerky is. Okay. So I'm gonna test this out. This one looks like it has a lot of flavor as well. This is the chipotle flavor. Mmm. Okay, so the texture is hard, like a meat jerky, which is really great because I was not expecting that. I don't know what I expected. Like maybe I thought it was gonna be a little flimsier or something, but 
just looking at it and tasting it it's really good so the flavor does taste like chipotle it has a kick at the end of it which i find really tasteful it's not super spicy so if you think that you are afraid of trying spice no worries it's not spicy it's like in the middle of sweet and spicy you can definitely tell that it's made from peas and beans the more you chew it and i think overall i really like this i would definitely be snacking on this a lot because i think it gives you it honestly reminds me of meat but of course if you guys have ever had crave jerky meat it's really good <laughs> so here's the korean barbecue flavor here it is up close i actually really miss going to korean barbecue especially since everything is locked down here in la i actually recently went for my birthday not too long ago and it was so good so i'm excited for this one. Oh, i forgot to smell it okay oh okay so when you go to a korean barbecue do you guys remember the bulgogi like the beef <laughs> that's what this smells like <laughs> the bulgogi sauce and it smells really good this one smells more on the sweet side compared to the chipotle and i'm going to share with you guys what this one looks like so this is what this one looks like compared to, to compared to the chipotle this one doesn't have as much flavoring on it i can tell but there still is something on there so that's exciting okay we're gonna do the breakaway test this one is a little more dense than the other one i will say the other one was more flaky but this one's more dense I'm literally sitting here playing with my food but i want to share with you guys my whole experience <laughs> okay cool so this is yeah it breaks apart really nice okay let's try it i eat all of it <laughs> okay so here's my thoughts about this one i think it smells wonderful the taste, I will say, in the cream barbecue one is not as strong as the Chipotle one, but it's still good. The thing I will say also about this cream barbecue one is that you can really tell that it's made from the peas and the fava beans. I personally really taste the beans, but I don't think that's a really bad thing to say, if that makes sense. But I will say it doesn't taste as bold as this one, but I like the taste of this. <laughs> I do wish it tasted a little more like it smells. But overall, I think it's really good. I just wish it was bolder. Okay, so my overall thoughts about this plant-based jerky. 10 out of 10 for the packaging. Like, how cute is that? Imagine this on the shelf. And you're walking by and you just see these on the shelf. I would definitely grab this. I'm the type of person who honestly buys anything that looks really nice <laughs> or bold and like colorful. So this would definitely catch my attention. Also, the attention to detail. This is a leaf like plant you know what i mean <laughs> it also tells you all the information on it too um which i really really love taste wise i will say i prefer the chipotle one mainly because it's more bold but i do like the cream barbecue i just wish it tasted bolder but it's not a bad taste so in general for the texture of these i will say i was really surprised that it the texture was like beef jerky, if that makes sense. Like it's thicker. When you pull it apart, like I showed, it was like flaky and like you can tell that the texture was really there, which I really love because I think I, I kind of feel like plant based jerky would have been thinner or like just really non existent, if that makes sense. And this really emulates and looks like the jerky, like the real meat jerky. So I thought that was really exciting. So overall, I really like this. I would definitely purchase this one. And I'm going to be keep eating this one too. So I love it. And I hope you guys try it. So yeah, if you guys are ever in any of your supermarkets or anything and find the Crave plant-based jerky, let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to know. Um, again, smoked chipotle is my favorite. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching Vlogmas Day 3. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys work from home, definitely let me know your tips down below. And I will talk to you guys in my next video tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 4.